I'm Jessica. And I'm Luke. And we are the Puzzle Republic, which is a network of little free libraries for jigsaw puzzles. You can find us all across the globe, and we have a map on our website with all the different locations for you to check out. But, but today... Today, we are talking about puzzle chess. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to give you our strategies, our rules, and we're going to also give you some guidelines on which puzzles you should or should not use for the game. First things first, the setup. This is a head-to-head -head game, or you can do it two versus two if you have four players. But the puzzle you want to use, if it's your first time, is 100 pieces, maybe 150, and then eventually work up to 300. But let's show you some puzzles that are great for puzzle chess. I'm going to go to completingthepuzzle.com. Which is a subscription service for renting puzzles. And I'm going to categorize these by 300 and 100 pieces. I can see right here that Pomegranate has a great puzzle called Beautiful Beetles, which would be great because it's got a lot of big, bold design, colors. There's also no really orientation of north, south, east, west. So if you're playing across from your opponent, there is really no advantage to be on either side of the table. The puzzles that you want to avoid are the landscape style ones, uh, designs that are a little bit too busy. So stick to the, the bigger, bolder designs with lots of color. Yeah, like a gradient is really nice. So for today, we've got a hundred piece puzzle by Mud Puppy. This is a two-sided puzzle, so it might look a little weird from your angle, but uh, what you want to do to begin is flip all the pieces up. We're also going to sort the border pieces, edge pieces while we go to save time. That's the second step, is looking for the edges and putting the border together. These are some big old pieces. Yeah, if you never thought you would ever use a kid's puzzle again, well, <laughs> they make great puzzle chess. Puzzles. Puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> and get ready to assemble. Puzzles, assemble. Okay, so our table is set up. We flipped up all the pieces face up. We've got our chess clock here. Our border is complete. Now, if you've never seen a chess clock before, uh, you can get a free app uh, on any app store. We get the one called Chess Clock. It's free. <laughs> and the way it works is you start your side. If I'm going second and Jessica's going first, I tap my side to start it. And it's going to count down her timer. Now, when she gets her first piece in, she will then stop it. Go ahead. Which will then start my timer. And it'll go back and forth, back and forth like that. So. What is the object of the game? The object of the game is to have the most time left on your side of the clock once all the pieces are in. Or if one person runs out of time, then that person would lose the game instantly. Yes. So timing wise, it's best to do about 15 minutes if you have a hundred piece puzzle. The more piece count, the more time you wanna allow yourself. So if you're doing a 300 piece puzzle, maybe you wanna set the timer to be 30, 45 minutes or so. That way you don't risk running out of time. And the way that we like to start our games is by flipping a piece like a coin. If Jessica calls it heads or tails properly, then she will not have to go first. If you go first, you have a disadvantage. All right. Heads or tails? Heads. Yeah! All right, that means I would have to go first. Mm -hmm. So to begin, you are going to find a piece that fits with inside the border. You can't, for instance, take uh, two tiger pieces and start building part of the tiger on the outside and then put them in later. I'm gonna find one piece to go on the border, stop my timer, start Jessica's, and then she will look for one piece to go with inside the border as well. Now, you can, sort your own pieces anywhere on the puzzle that you'd like to before you place your piece. So for instance, I might start pulling all the tiger pieces over on my side so that I can access them on my next turn later. However, you can only touch one piece at a time. So you can't be grabbing multiple pieces, have two pieces in one hand. It's one touch, one piece. So, since I won the puzzle piece toss, I'm going to have Luke go first, which means that I have to tap my side, which will then start his clock. That's right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Set, go. Okay, so my first strategy is to look for the big uh, objects on the outside. So alligator or peacock is what looks good right now. That's not a winner. Oh no, epic fail. Okay, got it in. Boom. 
What are you looking for? I'm copying your strategy because I also see this giant alligator. That okay. is an easy target. Stealing my goods, okay. No, I would say more great minds think alike. Oh, that's also true. There's the rest of that tail. Oh, oopsie daisies. All right, now I'm looking for the peacock because I think alligator's pretty much done. And while he's looking for his, I have to remember to look for my next move too and not get distracted by him. Big tip right there. You don't want to get distracted. Don't start looking at your, what your partner's doing or your opponent's doing. Keep your eye on the prize for the next piece or else you will get caught in the dust like I am doing right now, <laughs> talking to you. Oh, I see an alligator foot. I think I'm gonna go backwards to the alligator. I'm gonna finish this snake figure here. Oh, I think I'm gonna do that too, because ah. it's calling my name. Oh, crap. No. Oh, no. maybe not. It's a big snake. It's a big snake. It, it goes all the way across. Oh, no. Crap, 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 crap. Where is it? No. Let's see, I'm not gonna tell you. Oh no. Now you have to make the call. Do you commit to the snake? Oh no! I don't want to go backwards. All right, there's the flamingo head oh. attached to the snake. Well, thank you for collecting all the other snake uh, pieces for me. Geez. Yep. That's how it rolls sometimes. <laughs> all right, where's the rest of that peacock? I'm looking for the white and black feathers. Jessica is already currently winning. She's got the edge on me right now. Speaking of edge, I just connected to a new edge. And I need my next animal. You oh. got distracted. Where's the rest of that peacock? Come on, a lot of birds, a lot of birds. A lot of birds. All right, I'm gonna eject and go for another animal that's large and in charge, like this big blue fish. It's not that big, terrible idea. There's the peacock. <laughs> <gasps> what does the fox say? Oh, jeez. Alright, where's the tiger? Alright, I want to go for the tiger because it's nice and big and striped and easy to find, but I can't get to it right now because it's in the middle. Nothing can connect to it. So I have to think of something else to go for. Uh, flamingo looks pretty good. There we go. Um, oh, don't forget to do your yoga, folks. Ooh. Did you forget about your fox friend over here? No, I stole your flamingo. Oh, yes, you did. I got my next move, so now I'm going to try and also find a second next move, but then sometimes that makes you forget where your first piece was. It's a game of memory, too, really. It really is. Also, I'm doing this puzzle upside down for your benefit, so that's why I'm not doing so good. Sure. <laughs> I'm putting all your eggs in one monkey basket. You're a monkey basket. Cardinal. I see the, uh, the start of the tiger. Oh, oh no. I don't think you see it. It's too. Yeah, I do, but I just don't need to. Ah! Yahoo! Tiger face! I will see your tiger face and raise you a tiger face. Oh, we're just gonna crush this tiger right here, huh? I'm going back to the crawfish. Oh, so oh no, that's not it. Oh, false fit, ladies and false gentlemen. False fit. We got a flag on the play. Oh, oh no, I'm gonna try not to get distracted by what she's messing up and think about my next piece oh. someplace else on the puzzle. This is a big tiger. Oh my gosh. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh. Flipping. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Coming back, I'm coming back. Another important rule is to not get greedy and try and grab a piece before it's your turn. You're not allowed to touch anything until the clock is flipped to you. Hands off. At this point, I'm down a good minute, so I need to start trying to poach Jessica's. Whatever she's trying to do, I'm gonna try and grab it before she can. No chance. Wishful thinking. Oh, what is this? Oh, we're down to the wire, folks. So 
looking good. Not good at all. Looks like tickle you. <laughs> Say it ain't so. And that's a checkmate. Oh, you got me. Minute and a half. You know, I was trying to be a good coach and do a lot of the strategizing verbally. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That's the way puzzle chess rolls. Mm -hmm. So after you do a few hundreds, step up to the 300s and see how long those take you. Mm -hmm. It may look easy on camera, but once you're going in the moment, when you're in the hot seat, when it's on your time, it just feels a lot different. Yeah, and it's very easy to get distracted with your pieces and you forget where you were looking or which side or what object you're going for. So it's a good brain game. If you want a full list of the rules of how we play this, go to thepuzzlerepublic.com slash puzzle chess.